Are you seeing my screen currently? No, right? What is happening? Screen, screen. Okay. Okay, there you go. Okay. So you both have brick with you, right? Can you take that brick and keep it beside you? Anjali, do you have the brick with you, Samarth and Anjali? What, are you, what do you mean by brick? Oh, okay. This is called the brick. From your EV3 kit, can you take that brick and keep it with you? My bad. Okay. Okay, both of you have. Okay, good. Okay. Now, if you observe on the brick, what do we have? We have certain buttons, right? Before that, before going into deep, first let's understand what we are doing in this course. We are working on Lego EV3 Mindstorms and the mod, there are two models for this. That is 31313 model is the one which we are doing right now. Okay, whatever kit you are having is 31313 model, which Lego people have provided. Okay, EV3 Mindstorm is a software which we will be using to write our code for the robot to move. Okay, okay. Now, if you see this, this is the heart of the robot. This is called the brick. Okay, this is the heart, nothing but like. Uh, for a computer, what do you think is the main heart? If you have learned in school, I don't know, CPU. Okay, so for the robot, brick is the main heart, wherein all the programs what you have written will be stored in this brick. Okay, so this brick has certain options. I say buttons. If you see here, I have one button over here and I have total five buttons over here, totally six buttons, right? And each button has its own meaning or unique functionality. Let's take the first one. The first big one, which is across the corner is called the back button, okay? Do you see it on your brick? That is called the back button. So the back button performs three operations. As you see here, one is undo, one is stop program, one is to turn off the robot. Let's say your robot is on. That means your robot is moving currently whatever program you wrote, you're executing it. If you don't want to execute it anymore, you have to click on this button to stop the robot. Stop the program, whatever is running. Okay, so this second one is achieved by stop program by clicking on this. And let's say your robot is on right now. You're not using it. So what you do, you have to go and click on the same button to see, to turn off your robot, okay? When you click on this back button on your home screen, this is the home screen. When you click on back button, what it does is it will prompt a message saying, do you want to turn off? Yes or no? So you have to go ahead and select yes. In that case, the robot will come, the brick will completely turn off. Make sense? Okay, and one more this one more thing is undo. Do you guys know what undo is? Anjali, could you tell me what undo is? It's kind of like backspace. Very good. That is kind of like backspace. Okay, Samad. So undo is nothing but let's say you have performed some action, but you don't want that action to be working anymore. So I want to revert back the changes. So what I do is I have to click on undo. So whatever changes you made will be reverted back. That is, we'll go back to your first originally written code or originally selected ones. Okay, let's say 
let's say I have uh, I have um, let's say I have selected a program uh, and then I came here to the next tab and again I selected something. If I if you click on undo, it will go back to the previous tab. Okay. If you do more, you will understand more. Okay. Okay. So right now you can do undo stop program and turn off the robot using this big button. Okay. And we have one more button called to the second button that is called the center button. Okay, number two, whatever it is, it's the center button. Center button also performs three actions. That is nothing but you can turn on the robot. Okay, right now you are, you bo your both robots are off, right? Do you have batteries in your robot? No, okay, Anjali has it. Anjali, can you, if you want to turn on the robot, what do you need to do? You have to press on button number two, that is the center button. Can you press on the center button? So you see that it is switching on and you see, yeah, right? What is it written on the screen? Starting. Starting, right? So if the batteries are there and if you want to turn on your brake, you have to click on your center button. That is one of the options. Samad, where did you decide? I just added the battery in my... Um... Oh, you Great. just added the batteries? Great. So did you switch it on? Yes. Ken, I'm not able to see you, Samar. Can you put your video on? Yes. I'm once again trying to call Chirag. Let's see if he picks it up. So you have your batteries in it, right, Samad? Can you click on the yes. center button to switch it on? Yeah, I just switched it on. Awesome. So you see the red light and then starting message? Yeah, that just happened. Now it's that yellow. Happened. Now it's already started, right? Awesome. Anjali, your robot also started, right? Okay, that is used to turn on your robot, okay? Does your robots in your robot, do you see any programs that are written? Uh, because this, uh, this brick is already used some, by somebody. So there might be some programs. So right now, if you see here, there are these are called the tabs, nothing but the tabs, okay? How many tabs we have? We have one, two, three, four, okay? There are four tabs, each tab, has certain uh, functionalities where you can select and perform, okay? So the first one, let's understand first what, the, uh, what each tab does, then you will understand how to use these buttons, okay? So let's say, first let me tell you what these tabs are. So this is called the run recent tab. Can you guess what run recent tab is? Yes, Anjali. Run any recent programs that you've done. Uh, the, so there is a slight difference. You're correct. Run any recent programs that you have done. So when I say done, I can create a program. Is Creating a program is different. And then running the program, that is executing the program is different, right? I can create two programs today. I can create two programs yesterday. But let's say I have run a program that was created yesterday. Okay. In run recent, will I see the program that has been created first or the one that has run first? The one that has run first. Correct. Because I am trying to and uh, again run a program that has been recently run. That is recently executed. Got it? Samarth, did you understand that? If you don't understand, please let me know. I can repeat, okay? So run recent is nothing but all the programs that you have executed recently. So total of it will show 10 programs up to last 10 executed programs. Let's say you have created two programs and executed one program. How many programs will it show? One that you have run recent, but if you have created and never run, it won't show, okay? 
So total of 10 programs you can see for the run recent. And then we have the second tab called the file, file navigation. Okay. So did you ever save any file in your laptop? Anjali said yes. What about Samar? Yes. yes. So how do you save a program? Can Samar, can you tell me? Like, um, the, I'm unable to hear you. Can you come closer? Yeah. Um, you press the uh, the control button and S. Awesome. Okay. You will press the control button and S. That is a shortcut to file save, right? Or file save us. So when you click on control S, what will happen? Will it ask me where to save the file? So let me open quickly one notepad. Okay. Open. This is my first Lego class. Okay. I want to save this. If I want to save this, as you said, I can say Control S or I can go and say first time save as. Yeah. What will happen? It will open a dialog box wherein it will ask me what name should I save it with, correct? Yes. yes. So I give a name. First, Lego class. But where do you think this will save? Um, in, this, um, this computer. in this computer. But there should be some specific location, right? So over here, if you see, I have so many folders. I can save in any of the folder. But right now, what is this pointing out? This is pointing out to my desktop. Yeah. It will save in a desktop, right? Mm -hmm. So it, it needs some location and, and, and also it needs a file name to save something, correct? Mm -hmm. So in the same way, when you save your uh, program in the brick, the brick also needs a folder. When you save it automatically, it will be saved in a folder, okay? Okay. So you can create folders. Look, same thing. First, you create the program in the laptop, right? You will write your code, whatever it is in the app that you have downloaded. And then you will save it in on your laptop only. So let's say I have created two folders, one for my class programs and one for my homework assignments. Okay. So if I go into the brick and you have to download all the programs, whatever you have saved in your laptop, into your brick. I'll show you how to download it later. So now that whatever place, uh, folders you have saved, same thing you will be seeing in your brick as well, right? So if I come back here, no, this one, sorry. This one. So all the, the file navigation is nothing but to go and uh, traverse through, you, through, through your files, whichever program you want. I, let's say I have, I want a program that should be uh, run from my assignment folder. I'll go to the assignment folder and I will select from there, right? So how do you navigate? How do you navigate between these, these four tabs? By pressing left, right, up and down arrow. Got it? So let's say you are here right now. If I want to go here, what button will I press? Right button. Right button, correct. So let's say I went to the right button. Now in that, in this particular tab, I have few options down. What should I, what should I do to go down and select a program? Down button. I have to go click on arrow button, down arrow button or up arrow button if I want to go up and down. Let's say I, I went to a particular program. Now I have to select that program. I have to run the program. So using down arrow and up arrow, you will traverse through the files. And then if you press on center button, that program will be executed. Now you know what, why you will use the number three buttons and number two button, also the number one button. Got it? So generally for button number two, that is the center button, you will use to select the options, like whichever, whichever option you want, not only the files. I can go to this, I can go to this tab. I'll explain what these tabs also does, okay? 
so i can go there and i can select i can run the program okay so i can do select option i can do a run program from this button and i can also turn on the robot any doubt still here and the navigation buttons are three that is left right up and down to navigate okay now you know what run recent is and you know what file file navigation is wherein all the files will be there in the particular folders you just have to go and select whichever program you have to run okay, okay. now we have something called brick apps okay brick apps is nothing but um, all the ports if you uh, take your brick okay you will see four ports in the front and four ports in the back those holes wherein you can keep the cable they are nothing but the ports okay. got that so those are the ports you see that can you read what are the names written so the you what are the each port has a name do you see that can you read out those port names okay the first one is the motor control mm, where are you seeing i am asking you to see on the brick so if you can show me your brick okay let me do one thing let me see these are the ports you see that anjali these are the ports can you tell me what is written under each port there are four ports here and there are four ports here yeah. on the one side it says 1 2 3 4 and the yes, other sir. side it says a b c d that's it there you go so these are the ports okay so port is nothing but i wherein i'll i can connect my motors and sensors okay we will understand what motors and sensors are as well first try to understand what the ports are now if you see this is a touch sensor wherein i am connecting to this port maybe it's port number 1 so if you go to this tab you will be able to see which port number which sensor or which motor is attached okay so this will help you to understand which port is connected to what okay, okay. this is all about this brick apps and you will have more options also which we will see later and then the last tab is called the settings tab so in your iphone also you have settings you know right yeah. so what will you use settings for like anjali to control the volume uh hi bluetooth kare you you will do so you will have so many options you can decrease the brightness you can increase the you can change the login screen you can change the screen um, background picture so many say various things right that is called nothing but all these options will be available on settings same is for the brick as well for the brick also you will have certain settings wherein i can increase my volume decrease my volume i can connect to bluetooth connect to wifi and there are more options which we will discuss later on okay but right now you can you just try to understand settings is to change any default settings in your brick okay for example one setting can be sleep let's say i my robot is on but i'm not using it will the battery be wasted it's all used up for nothing right so what we can set up the robot to sleep after 5 minutes that means for 5 minutes if you don't touch the robot or if you don't select any option automatically after 5 5 minutes it will sleep that means it will turn off got it so there are several other uh, functionalities like that which you can select any doubt with the tabs no doubts any doubt with the brick buttons awesome okay now let's understand this so what all we have the main parts for our kit is we will have a brick we will have three sensors as part of 31313 model right now you can see four but for 31313 model we have only three and uh, sensors and motors you will have three again 
these two are called the large motors and this is called the medium motor can you quickly find two large motors from your kit okay okay anjali you have it already on your uh, tracker right you already built it so you will find it in your tracker <laughs> you can just show me which are the large motors correct so we have two right awesome okay let's wait for summer is that roblox is that minecraft what is that <laughs> i don't know my kids keep playing too much you guys play you are on mute anjali yeah i play roblox so is that roblox or minecraft I don't know. I think it's Minecraft. What is the difference? In uh, in Minecraft, everything is like squares. Oh, but what is that? You guys will be doing in Minecraft and robots, Roblox. I don't know. <laughs> Boys plays a lot. Play a lot, I guess. Samarth, were you are you able to find the large motor? Yes, but I only have two large motors. Yeah, you will have only two large motors. You will have two large motors. Now, can you find the medium motor, Samarth? And Anjali has it on her robot. Okay, I found. I just found the medium. Okay, can you show me, Samarth? Yep, that is the medium motor. One second. Finally, Chirag is calling. Hey, hello. Hey, hi. so is your son joining the class daughter sorry so no i don't see i don't see your daughter today's class is only for the makeup class which she missed on monday on I missed the first class, so that is why I was taking the class for others. Yeah, let her join. Let her join. Half an hour is done, but I can quickly give her an overview. I'm um, anyway recording also. I will send you the recording too. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Okay, guys. They got confused, so they are joining now. Okay. so you found all the three motors and now coming to the sensors so can you find touch sensor infrared sensor and color sensor samar i think you are not having the infrared sensor which i missed to give so maybe uh, while building the tracker you might need the infrared sensor but just ignore that okay or you can you can add any other sensor but you can just ignore infrared sensor Samad, can you look for other touch sensor and color sensor? Which one is the infrared sensor? Ah, uh, see here, uh, Anjali, can you show that infrared sensor on your tracker? You have to put it close. You see, backside. Can you turn? Yeah, that is the infrared sensor, Samad. Turn it backside, Anjali. The other way round. You see. this is called the infrared sensor uh, samarth do you see that anjali is showing that you yeah. will not be having uh, i hopefully maybe it is there i did not see properly but um, can you check if you have it or else can you you this is the touch sensor and this is the color sensor anjali can you find it from your kit touch sensor and color sensor 
That is a touch sensor, and this is the color sensor. Awesome. Let's wait for summer. I can't be um I can't I can't find the um the oh, like the the one the sensor the sensor I uh, I uh, are you not able to find all sensors because I saw touch sensor and found, uh, color sensor I found two but I can't find the others Can you show me what you found one is the touch sensor and other is the color sensor. That's correct. I said the infrared sensor. I think I missed it, but thank you for checking again. I'll make sure to give it to you. Okay. Don't know when, but I will give it to you. So while building the tracker, they might ask you for uh, infrared sensor. You can just replace it with any other sensor or you can just skip that infrared sensor. Too. Okay, Samad. That's okay. You don't, don't have, have to search. It. I don't have it. That's okay. Okay. Now, okay. Now, if you see sensors, and we have three sensors in 31313 model, and we have three motors. Okay. Always remember if you see here, one, two, three, four. Numbers, numbers are connected to sensors. Always these sensors, whatever you have, you should not connect it to ABCD ports. You have to connect it to only one, two, three, four ports to work. Got it? And for motors, if you're connecting, you have to make sure to connect it to ABCD ports. Got that? Samad, what are you looking for? I, I only I can only find two sensors. Yes, three. you have only two sensors. I will give you. That is my bad. I missed giving the infrared sensor. I will make sure to give you the infrared sensor later. Got it, Samad? If what you search you? also, you will not find it now. Are you clear? Okay. Okay. Now to connect the sensor to your robot, you need these cables, okay? Never mind if it's a big one, 35 centimeters, 25 centimeters, 50 centimeters, never mind. Everything will work as the same. Only that if you don't want to mess up your robot with a big cable, you have to go and use small cables. But if your robot is really big and you want to connect the sensor from long part to this part, then you will need a big cable. So cable size doesn't matter. The functionality is the same, okay? Now, one thing you have to understand is all the sensors are called the input sensor. Motors are nothing but the outputs. That means what a sensor will do, it will sense things, okay? Let's say color sensor. It will sense the color that you are showing the sensor. It will read the value and store it over here in the brick. The value that the sensors read are nothing but they are providing input to the brick. Based on that input, you are telling the motors to act accordingly. So let's say I say I, I see red color. So the sensor, color sensor will read the red color and it will store some value. Okay, or let's say green color. Green color, it will store value of three. And, we, and then we can write a program saying, if the sensor is sensing number three, that is green color, you make the robot, like the, make the motors to move front. Got that? So nothing but you are giving an output to the motors, but you are getting an input from the sensors. Does it make sense? Okay, always sensors will sense and it will give input to the robot, the brick, 
and then the brick based on that input whatever code we write it will we will ask certain action to be performed using the motors got it so i can say if you see green light turn medium motor or i can say if you see a red light turn uh, large motor anything like that any doubts in the ports sensors motors everything clear so this is called gyro sensor this is called ultrasonic sensor there's no diff the we right now we don't need to worry about gyro sensor because this is not part of 3131 model but there are if you have if you know the kit has only three sensors but if you want to buy separately and program there are number of sensors available like a weather sensor temperature control sensor so many other sensors there are but we will be learning only about three sensors if you know about them you will be able to figure out the others also easily got it guys awesome so this is what i covered in the previous class okay okay with this here hi ridhi hi can you uh, put your video on ridhi hey ridhi how are you good okay so we are just winding up the class actually i will quickly take you a 10 minutes review but before that i want to you to meet your friends okay so the first one is anjali no no i won't tell samarth can you tell your friend's name anjali <laughs> anjali can you tell your friend's name samarth yeah okay riddhi so we have uh, anjali and samarth and uh, guys this is an, uh, we have uh, and this is riddhi okay riddhi so right now you are only three students here but in the next class you will see more two students so your batch is totally five students okay, okay. riddhi anjali okay. samarth okay so because you guys missed the first class i was trying to do a makeup class so that you are in tally with the others okay, okay. so uh, now that we have completed till here i will take 10 minutes extra for riddhi and wind up but before that riddhi and uh, samarth and uh, anjali all of you when you download the software onto your ev3 uh, uh, onto your laptop you will see something like this this is the home page of your app ev3 mindstorm app okay for me currently i am seeing this this is my lobby let me show you okay i am seeing something like this uh, this is a different version and yours is a different version you will see something like this okay so if you see here if you click on this plus button you can go ahead and write programs just like here if you click on this plus i can go here and this is nothing but the programming canvas okay and these are different blocks which we can drag and drop and we can write the program whatever we tell it will do the robot will do okay so let's say i see this is the move steering block so i am asking to move one rotation so if i run this program now the robot will move one rotation got that yeah. so this is something about the software uh, com, uh, window okay we will still understand we did not uh, teach anybody anything about this we will still go ahead and understand how it works okay so anjali are you all set i think you have your robot ready and everything all set so you are good to go thanks anjali i hope you like the class if you have any questions you can reach out to me okay and samarth uh, mm, what about you you did you download the software samarth yes did you download yes i did okay great then so only thing is you have to now build the robot right make sure to put the batteries and then build the robot okay samarth you have any other questions um no okay then you are also free you can leave
Thank you for attending. Okay. Bye. Bye. Riddhi, you can just stay. I will give you a quick overview, okay? Before that, let me stop recording. Uh, stop recording.